Alhamdulillahi wa kafa wa salamun ala ibadihi alladhi nastafa subhanallahi wa bihamdihi adala khalqihi wa ridha nafsihi wa zinata arshihi wa midada kalimatihi subhanallahi wa bihamdihi subhanallahi al-azim Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad fil awwalin wal akhirin wa fil malail ala ila yawmiddin Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa alihi alfa alfa marra jazallahu anna Muhammadan sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bima huwa ahluhu subhanaka la ilma lana illa ma'allamtana إنك أنت العليم الحكيم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ربنا يسر ولا تعسر وتم بالقير وبك نستعين يا فتاح اللهم اجعلنا دعاة إليك وإلى رسولك رب زدني إلما أما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وما كان وما كان الله بيواذبهم وانت فيهم وما كان الله مواذبهم وهم يستغفرون وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم توبوا الى الله واستغفروا فاني اتوب الى الله واستغفروه في اليوم سب أكثر سبعين مرة أو كما قال صلى الله عليه وسلم وفي رواية مئة مرة توب إلى الله واستغفروه فإني أتوب إلى الله في اليوم مئة مرة وفي رواية سبعين مرة أو كما قال صلى الله عليه وسلم Hazirine kiram, Honorable Assembly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-Ghafoor. He has his 99 names. وَلَهُ الْأَسْمَاءُ الْحُسْنَى فَدْعُوهُ بِهَا Call him by these names. A very important question that we have to ask ourselves is, Am I living as I am supposed to live or am I just existing? As there is a statement, eat to live, but don't live to eat. Eat to live, but don't live to eat. So the question is, am I living or am I just existing? Am I wasting my time or not? How much of my life has already gone? What about the rest of it? We got to measure that. If we want to measure the temperature, we use a thermometer. We want to measure some cloth. We use a tape or a yardstick. We want to weigh something, we use the scale. How do we measure our life, the utilization of our life? How do we measure that? Other things can be measured. There's a gauge, there's a mayor for that. How do we measure our lives? What's the gauge for that? In the book, Al-Hizb al-Azam, 
compiled by Mulla Ali Al Qari, Rahimahullah, the Sharih of Mishkat, the author of Al Mirkat. Al Mulla Ali Al Qari, Rahimahullah, in this book of Al Hizbul Azam, he has put together in this book Masnoon Duas, Duas of the Prophet. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and do us from the Holy Quran. And in this book, he has mentioned the dua which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to make. Our Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to say, Allahumma innaka ta'lamu ma nukfi wa ma nu'lin. O Allah, you know what we hide and what we conceal and that which we declare and express. After all, Allah is, innahu alimum bidhati sudur. Allah knows what the breasts conceal, what we have inside of here. Allahumma innaka ta'lamu ma nukfi wa ma nu'lin. Wala you know what we conceal, ma nukfi wa ma nu'lin, and what we declare and express. Wa ma yakfa ala Allah min shayin fil ard wala fil samam. And there's nothing on the earth or in the heavens that is hidden to Allah. The next dua after that is, Rabbana zalamna anfusana. O our Rabb, we have wronged ourselves. We have committed dhulm upon ourselves. And we should know whenever we cry out unto Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala listens. Allah tells us in the Holy Quran, وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمْ أُدْعُونِي أَسْتَجِبُ لَكُمْ And your Lord says, cry out unto me, call upon me, I will answer you. وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمْ أُدْعُونِي أَسْتَجِبُ لَكُمْ Make dua to me, I will answer you. Under the tafsir of this ayah, in tafsir Jalalain, in the, in the Hashia, it is written that when a servant says, Ya Rab, Ya Rab, oh my Lord, when he says, Ya Rab, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Labbaik Ya Abdi. I am present, my servant. What do you want? The moment a person says, Rabb, Rabbana, Rabbi, Ya Rabb, O oh my master, O oh my Lord, Allah says, Labbaik Ya Abdi. I am present, my servant. What do you want? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would declare, Allahumma innaka ta'lamu ma nukfi. Wala, you know what we conceal and what we hide. Wama nolin, and you know what we declare. Everything is like an open book before you. Wama yakfa ala Allah ming shayin fil ardi wala fil sabah. There is nothing on the earth or the heavens that is hidden to Allah. Rabbana, O our Rabb, Ya Rabb, Valamna fusana. We have done zulm to ourselves. We have wronged ourselves. فَاغْفِرْ لَنَا ذُنُوبَنَا رَبَّنَا ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا وَإِنْ لَمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا And if you don't forgive us, وَتَرْحَمْنَا And if you don't have mercy upon us, لَنَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْقَاسِرِينَ Then surely, without a doubt, we'll be amongst the Qasirin, the losers, the losers. This, of course, is the famous dua, 
هذا دعاء أبينا آدم على نبينا وعليه الصلاة والسلام the دعاء of حضرة آدم عليه الصلاة والسلام this is his dua O oh Lord and of course together with him حضرة حواء our mother when they committed the mistake ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا O oh Lord we have wronged ourselves وَإِنْ لَمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا And if you don't forgive us, وَتَرْحَمْنَا If you don't show mercy to us, لَنَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْقَاسِرِينَ And they made their tawbah. And they did their tawbah. And Adam alayhi salatu was salam cried and cried and cried and cried. And they were sent down to the earth and they were separated. And their meeting place was at Arafah. That's where they met at Arafah. If we examine this dua, we commit a dhulm, we commit mistakes, and we ask in Allah here, the Nabi alayhi salam would make this dua. Dua is in the Quran. If you don't forgive us, if you don't forgive us, and if you don't have mercy upon us, we'll be amongst the losers, amongst the losers. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to make dua, Ya man ra'ani ala al-khataya wa lam yafdahni. Oh, that great one who sees me upon mistakes and sins, and yet, despite that, he did not disgrace me. Subhanallah. Allah is kareem. Ya kareem. Ya man kalla. In the ni'matihi shukri. Falam yahrimni. Oh, that great one. Whose ni'mat I did not show enough gratitude for. And yet still he did not deprive me. Wa ya man kalla in the baliyati sabri falam yakdulni. Oh, that great one. Before whom my sabr was lacking. Oh, great one. Before whose trial, imtihan, test, and baliya, my sabr, my patience was lacking. Falam yakdulni, but he still did not abandon me. Allahu Akbar. He would cry out, Ya Khair al Mas'ulin, O the best of those who can be asked. Wa Ya Khair al Mu'teen, and O the best of those who give. Allahu Akbar. So who are the Qasirin? Ya Allah, you are the great knower of everything, the all knowing. You are Al Alim. Wallahu Basirun bil Ibad. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees the actions of his servants and his alim. He knows their niyat, their intentions, their ahwal, and what their breasts conceal. So if you don't forgive us, Rabbana dhalamna anfusana wa illam taghfir lana wa tarhamna lanakunanna min al qasirin. We'll be amongst the losers, the qasirin. And who are the qasirin? The tafsir of al-qasirun, the losers, those who fail, the failures. The tafsir of this is given to us in Surah Al-Asr. In Surah Al-Asr. This is such a surah that Imam al-Shafi'i rahimahullah has said, that if there were no other surahs sent down, then this surah would have been enough. So great is this surah. Had this surah alone been sent down to mankind, it would have been enough, said Imam al-Shafi'i rahimahullah. The surah tells us, it is, it is the gauge for us to measure our lives, to take stock of our lives, to measure 
the utilization of our lives? Is it being utilized for al-qair? What is the heat of my iman? What's the temperature of my iman? How do I measure my life? Like how other things are measured and weighed. How do I weigh? What do I measure? How do I take stock of my life? Am I wasting time? Am I just existing or am I living? What am I doing? The surah is the mayar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions to us, Wal asr, that all people, let time be a witness. Allah swears by the blessed vessel, dharf of time. And he also says, do not curse time. Which comes in a hadith, hadith Qudsi. Wal Asr. Allah swears by Al Asr, time. In general, you can also refer to Salatul Asr. That's also a possibility because that's a very important prayer. Allah tells us. Wahafidu ala salawat. Guard your prayers, which include the five prayers, but because of the significance, Allah mentions it separately. Was salatil wusta. And guard the middle prayer. The middle prayer surah is salatul asr. It can also refer to the time that walked, the time of asr. The time of asr is such a sacred time. It is a time when our deeds are going to go up before Allah. The day is about to come to an end. It is a time of, of ijtima. It is a time of ijtima wa malaikati layli wa nahar. The meeting of the angels of the day and the angels of the night. The angels of the night have descended. And the angels of the day are about to descend such a sacred time that this was the time used by the Arabs for, for swearing and for taking oaths, sacred oaths. They would use this time, time of Asr. It's the time when we should be mindful that our deeds are going up to Allah at this time. The angels will carry. Allah swears by Al Asr, Al Waqt, time in general, Salatul Asr, that special prayer, or just the time of Asr. All these are ihtimalat possibilities. And whenever Allah swears by something, it becomes Mubarak, it becomes blessed. What teen Allah swears by the fig, not what we call fig in Trinidad, that's, a, that's banana. What teen by the fig? was zaytun by the olive. Whatever Allah swears by, it becomes blessed. Mubarak. Allah says, Innal insana lafi kusr. That the whole of mankind is in a state of loss. They are failures. They are losers. Innal insan. The alif lam in al insan, it is lil istigraq. All of mankind just wasting time. They're just existing. They are living to eat, not, li not eating to live. All of mankind are failures. Alif Lam could be, could be for category, species, jinns, Lamul jinns. But man in general, mankind in general, Lafi Kusr, is in a state of loss. They are losers. Except people who do four things. Except people who have four traits, four qualities, who involve themselves in four things. <laughs> Except those who have believed. People of Iman. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Except those who have Iman. وَأَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ 
and then they do righteous deeds. We are not people who say, believe and you'll be saved. Believe and you'll be saved. That, that belief has to be backed up with amal, with actions. Except those who have iman. Everybody else is in a state of loss. The al-qasirun. Losers, failures, just existing on the earth. Except those who have iman. Who have declared, La ilaha illallah. Muhammadur Rasulullah. Who have declared, La ilaha illa anta subhanaka. Inni kuntu minad dhalimeen. And who have done good actions, righteous actions. And good actions are those that have been defined to us in the Quran and the ahadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Whatever the Rasul has given to you, then take it. وَمَا نَهَاكُمْ عَنْ And whatever he has stopped you from, فَانْتَهُ Then desist. Good actions are not what I think and what you think. Some people today, even Muslims, and some non-Muslims, they say, hear what? You know what's religion all about? It's about doing good. So if I am a good human being, I'm a decent human being. I'm not immoral. I live good with my neighbor. I help the poor and the needy. I give charity. That is religiousness. That is righteousness. Not going to the masjid every day and performing five times salat every day. Righteousness is to be good to people. Well, they are right in one way and they are wrong in the other way because they have failed to understand that amal is salih, good actions, righteousness consists of two parts. One is hukuk Allah, the rights of Allah, and one is hukuk ibad the rights of the servants. So, yep, sometimes we uphold the rights of Allah, hukuk Allah, we uphold the rights of Allah. We go for Hajj, we pay the zakat, we fast in Ramadan, we perform the as salawatul khams, five prayers, we do that, but we don't care about anybody else. We become into masjid, nice and clean and neat. Somebody is in need at the side or something has happened, we don't turn an eye to them, we just walk, we just move straight, we don't help anybody. We are still lacking. We have only fulfilled hukuk law. We haven't fulfilled, fulfilled hukuk ibad the rights of the creatures. And when we fulfill the rights of the creatures, by being good to them, helpful to them, we have to fulfill hukuk law. Both constitute al-amalus salih, al-a'malus saliha, bir, righteousness, taqwa. We have to fulfill both the rights of Allah and the rights of the humankind. <inaudible> so everybody is in a state of loss, Allah says. Everybody. <inaudible> in totality. Man in general. <inaudible> Except those who have iman. Those who say, Rabbun <inaudible> Allah. Indeed, those who have said with Iman that our Rabb, our Master is Allah, and then they remain steadfast upon that until death. The angels descend upon them at the time of dying. Allah taqafu, you're about to die. You are about to leave your beloved, but fear not. Don't fear what is beyond. Allah and grieve not over what you are leaving in the world. Something better awaits you. Wa bil 
and rejoice with the glad tidings of Jannah. The Akhirat is open for you. Look and see. Allati kuntum tuwadun, which you had been promised time and time again. Nahnu awliya'ukum fil hayati dunya wa fil akhirat. We are your friends. We are your friends in this life and in the next life. We would not leave you. Nahnu awliya'ukum fil hayati dunya wa fil akhirat. وَلَكُمْ فِيهَا مَا تَشْتَهِي أَنفُسُكُمْ And in the Akira, you will get whatever you want. The Akira is for the fulfillment of desires. This world, some of your desires will be fulfilled and some will not be fulfilled. But the Akira is a place for total fulfillment of all desires. وَلَكُمْ فِيهَا مَا تَشْتَهِي أَنفُسُكُمْ وَلَكُمْ فِيهَا مَا تَدَّعُونَ And for you over there is whatever you call for. Whatever you want. نُزُلًا مِّنْ غَفُورِ الرَّحِيمِ This is a hospitality. نُزُل مَا يُعَدُّ لِلْضَيْفِ That which is prepared for the guests is called نُزُل. This has been prepared for the friends of Allah. Nuzul, hospitality, min gafur rahim From that one who is forgiven, very forgiven, who is merciful. Iman. Illa ladina amanu. So everyone is wasting time on this earth. <coughs> and the days and the nights are slipping by. Except those who have iman and stick with that iman. Kalu Rabbun Allah, who have said Allah is our Rabb. Summa staqamu. And then they remain with istiqamat, steadfastness upon it. Wa amilu salihat. And then they do righteous actions. They do good deeds to back up that. Wa tawasaw bil haq. But that is not all. Not just their iman and their own amal and their own actions. No. But they become involved in khidmat, service for this deen of Allah. They may become involved in the khidmat, the service of the deen. In da'wah, in the islah and rectification of themselves and others. And those who advise others. Unto the truth, وَتَوَاسَوْ بِالْحَقِّ وَصِيَّدْ بِالْقَيْرِ They command others with truth. They exhort them unto truth, unto that which is haq and right. وَتَوَاسَوْ بِالْصَبْرِ And they exhort others, admonish them, advise them upon sabr and upon patience. Because whenever a person stands up to do the khidmat of deen and he starts to follow the footsteps of the anbiya alayhi salatu wasalam. He starts to follow the footsteps of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. He will be pelted. He will be stoned. Abuses will be flung at him. Wasbir alama asabak. Keep sabr upon that which befalls you. The moment you stand up with da'wah, Advising people, speaking what is haq, stones are going to be thrown at you. After all, a tree that is empty without fruits is left alone. But a tree that has fruits and is laden with fruits, then stones are thrown at those trees. So it's not about iman alone, nor about amal is salih alone. What bil haq. They invite others towards the haq. They give da'wah, they exhort, they advise others unto that which is right, which is haq and right. What saw be sabr, and they exhort others unto the quality of sabr, the quality of patience. This is our yardstick. This is our measurement. As my life goes by, 
As our lives go by, this is how we measure our lives. What am I doing? Am I wasting time? So if we are not involved in these four amals, not just one, four of them, if we don't have iman, we are not doing amali salih, righteous deeds. Or if we have iman and we are doing good and doing ibadat, but if we are lacking the other two, Allah says, what tawasa bil haq, those who exhort others unto haq, they tell them what is right, they give da'wah by dars, tadris, gush, jawla, kuruj, tabliq, waz, nasihat, advice, some form of khidmat, some form of service. Allah says, wadhakir. Allah says, talk, remind, tell the believers something. Fa'inna dhikra mu'minin because the reminding will prove useful for the believers. And not only that, but they advise them to keep sabr. Keep sabr. They advise themselves and others upon the part of patience, the part of sabr. You don't have to answer everybody. Sometimes people speak to you. Sometimes people tell you things that are very hurtful. The Nabi alayhi salam has shown us after the battle of Uhud, that sometimes some questions could be answered, sometimes you leave some questions. Sometimes it's just right to walk away. Just walk away. وَإِذَا قَاتَبَهُمُ الْجَاهِلُونَ إِبَادُ Rahman. The servants of Ar-Rahman are those. وَإِذَا قَاتَبَهُمُ الْجَاهِلُونَ That when the jahils address them and bring them down, and are sarcastic towards them and insult them and they say bad things. Kalu salama. Then the servants of Allah, Ibadur Rahman, servants of Rahman, they say salam. This is not salam mutahiyya. This is not a salam of peace. It's not a salam of greeting. It is salam mutafarruk, a salam to go your way. In other words, yakuluna kaulan. Yaslahuna bihi. They say such a word by which they save themselves. Because Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man sakata, whoever keeps quiet, salima. He becomes safe and sound. Wa man salima naja, and whoever is salim and safe and sound, naja, he has indeed been successful. They advise others unto the path of sabr. But sabr takes great determination. Wa inna dhalika lamin azmil umur. وَإِن تَتَّقِي وَتَسْبِرُ To have taqwa and to have sabr. Wow, these are men ma'zumatil umur. Things which we need courage for. Things that we have to have a great azm upon them. We have to have a great niyat. More than that, we have to have azm of determination that we're going to keep, really, really going to keep sabr. Upon these things, sabr upon these things, patience upon these things. Min azmil umur means min ma'zumatil umur. Those affairs which a great azam has to be placed upon them, a great, great, great azam and determination upon them that I'm not going to lose myself. I'm not going to lose my temper. Sabr. One of our great pious predecessors, one of the Salafi Salih. He said, you know this surah? He says, I only understood the surah when I was in the marketplace. When I heard the seller of ice, Ba'i thalj, when the seller of ice was in the marketplace with his block of ice, and he was saying, Irhamu, ala man ra'su mali. Have mercy, O people, on the one whose capital is melting away. Have mercy on that one whose capital is melting away. He says, that when, I, when I saw that scenario, I understood this meaning of Surah Tul Asr. Our life is like a block of ice and it's melting away, melting away. So am I living or am I just existing? Am I wasting time? My days, is it with Iman and Amal Saleh and with inviting and exhorting others, doing some khidmat and tabliq, inviting them towards what is haq, what tawasaw bil haq, what tawasaw bil sab, and inviting them onto the path of patience, as well as inviting myself also to on the path of sabr and patience. 
If not, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, let's do istighfar. Let's make up for it. So when the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would pray, Allahumma innaka ta'lamu ma nukfi. Wallah, you know what we conceal, what we do in privacy, what is within our chests. Wama nuglin. And wallah, you know what we declare. Wala yakfa ala Allah min shay'in fil ard wala fi sama. Nothing on the earth or the heavens is hidden to Allah. Nabi alayhi salam would pray, Rabbana, O oh Lord, Zalamna anfusana, we have done dhulm upon ourselves. Wa illam taghfir lana, O oh Allah, O oh Rabb, if you don't forgive us, wa tarhamna and have mercy upon us, lanakunanna min al qasirin. You know what will happen to us, O oh Allah? You know what will be our natija? We'll be amongst the losers. Al Qasirun. Al Qasirun. Al Qasirun. And who are the Qasirun? Explained in Suratul Asr. We don't want to become like such people who would be the Qasirun, who would be losers of our of our fate. Because if you don't forgive us and you remain angry with us and you pull away your rahmat from us, you pull away your nusrat from us. If you don't take us back, O oh Allah, O oh Allah, you never went anywhere. It is we who run away from you. We want to come back. We want to come back to you, Allah. But if you don't take us back, if you don't have mercy on us, if you don't forgive us, we'll be amongst the losers. And the losers, al-kusr, failure, loss. And who are the losers? Explained in so many ayats of the Quran and beautifully expounded in Suratul Asr. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help you and help me to atone for our mistakes and to make good use of that which is yet remaining. Akulu kawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'iril muslimin. saw his face so beautiful bestowed